Good night, honey. She's sleeping. I missed you so much. So did I. Just be careful. Don't wake Lana up. I think you're exaggerating. No. At this moment, everything is just like this. That's why we have to tell both of them the truth. You tell Lana, I tell Ronald. And quit hiding already. I'm up for it. Dennis, are you ready? We might be late for the movie. Yes. Kati, hmm? are you ready? Uh, Would you like to join us at the movies? Uh, Shall we go? Well, why not? Let's go then. We'll be waiting for you outside. Honey. Well, let's tell them everything tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's movie night. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Is there some kind of a problem? By no means. You see, I wanted to personally thank your splendid head chef for my meal. Well... To be honest, your meal was made by uh, a sous chef. I know perfectly well what your position is, Mr. Leo. And I think you have been a sous chef for far too long. My name is Alexander. I'm a restaurateur. I suppose you might have heard about me already. I am planning to start a new project, and I'd like for you to come to work on it as a head chef. Well, I don't know if I... Well, take some time to think it over. Let me give you my business card. Damn. Ran out of them. Let's do it this way. Don't forget to call me. Here. Why are you sitting in the dark? Never mind. Just sitting. <sighs> so cool. Take a look. It's a tip combined with a business card. This tip is for everyone, okay? There's a phone number. That's right. Copy it down somewhere. And this goes to the so bank. So when are you setting off? Jamal, I've got some news. My niece's husband is going to be a head chef. I haven't made up my mind yet. Hey, all of Bishkek already knows. What do you mean you haven't? What are you still unsure about, Leo? Well... Whether it'll start working or not? Oh, Chef Victor, it's such a wonderful coincidence. Yesterday, I cooked a head chef's dish for a guest, uh -huh. and he offered me a head chef's position. Alexander, the restaurateur. Are you going to build a career using my dishes? <laughs> Actually, I made a little improvement to it. Don't you dare touch any of my dishes! Become a head chef first, and only then you can use your crooked little hands to improve your crooked little dishes, you understand? Do you really think that I have crooked hands? Yes! But these exact crooked hands are what keep this place running. He might still stay with us. I'll manage. Don't worry about it. Turn in your resignation and get out of here. Sure I will. And... Don't mind if I do. He is leaving. <sighs> That's a pity. Who's gonna keep the order now? What makes you think it's depression? Maybe he was just sitting in the dark so he wouldn't waste electricity. I'm telling you, your father is lonely. We have to find him some company. What kind, Nancy? What kind? Obviously a woman's. All right, I'll take him to the hospital tomorrow. For what? Because it's full of retirees like himself there. Nancy, he doesn't need a woman. He's long past his prime. How about setting him up with Aunt Claudia? Good morning, young people. Good morning. Howdy. Dear Corey, if you want to inquire about my well-being, the proper expression is, how do you do? This howdy of yours isn't suitable. Good morning. <laughs> no. 
They wouldn't get along. I would say the language barrier would be a problem. Let's go. Ronald is here. So is Lana. Shall we go? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Uh, huh? Nature calls. What is the reason for this coffee break? Ronald, do you have a minute? Even a couple for you. So, the thing is... I really think that... we better... Have a nice day, they said. Easy, easy. Get up, get up. Easy, well, easy, easy. I didn't mean to. Sniper, go call an ambulance now. Wait, I'll do it. Dennis, will you come with me? It was I who raised him. I who taught him. He has been like a son to me. He is also responsible for supplies, charts, and various reports. He has, he definitely is. Of course. Oh, one. Why does resignation begin with a lowercase? It is an uppercase. But it clearly looks like a lowercase. Go, make a new one. Are you kidding me? This is my third letter. If you want to be a head chef, learn to do the paperwork first. So, have you found a match for your father? Yeah, it's just like this. I have a couple of options. Mm -hmm. The first option is to give Miss Eleanor a try, and then the second one is Barbara Streisand. I prefer the first one because I want to inherit this bar. Corey! Hey, hey, holy moly, even the job cannot keep you two apart. Hey there, same as usual. Mr. Timothy, what brought you here? I was taking a walk and decided to drop by and see my son to make up for lost time so to say. All right, I won't be bothering you. I'll go take a seat. Okay. And do some people watching. The same as usual. How often is that? Every third day. He has a chance for a free drink only on my shift. So he does feel lonely. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Let me clean it up. No, no, no. Now. It's all right. And he definitely needs a woman. Nancy, are you sure he does? Well, go find out. Why me, then? It's not my business to talk about women with him. That's it. Soon the painkiller will take effect... and put you at ease. The injury is not that serious. Apply an ointment to it, and the hematoma will subside. Lana, listen. I have something I need to tell you. Uh Oh, maybe I had an allergic reaction to the drug. Doctor, uh, help her. Check on her, doctor. Uh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Chef, remember to give it back. It's for all of us. Uh, uh, hello, good day, Mr. Alexander. My name's Victor, uh, head chef of the restaurant, Victor. Okay, nice to meet you. What's this about? Well, I would like to talk to you about Mr. Leo. You have my attention. Um, I'm all ears. Uh, you see, I think Leo's not experienced enough to be a full-fledged head chef yet. As a sous chef, he's just mediocre. Uh, what do you mean, not experienced? What do you mean, mediocre? Leo, what are you doing Digesting there? your lowly lies about me. Um, I see your boss doesn't want to let you go at all, which is the highest proof of your skill. Enjoy. This one's on the house. Why all of a sudden? Why, you ask? Let's put it this way. Nancy's visiting her parents, so I thought, why don't we relax? Have a drink. Uh-huh. While gazing at chicks. Mm. How do you like that cutie over there? Mm. Blonde girls. Not my type. They're stupid. <laughs> How about that one? Petite ones are aggressive. <laughs> well, you're right. All right, fine then. Let's see, let's see. So we have to find a friendly one. That lady over there is definitely friendly. 
Isn't she a bit too old? I think she's fine for a date. Well, actually, she too might be okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my son, Corey. He seems to like you very much. Valentina, nice to meet you. Corey. <clears throat> Listen here. Yeah. Frankly, I disapprove of this wandering eye of yours, so I'm helping you just this once. Okay, fine. Time to go. Have a good one. <laughs> Valentina. <laughs> Mr. Corey, what is your occupation? Turns out it's a bunch of weird stuff. Chef Victor, you're a coward. It's you who's afraid of working without me. And I'm sure it's certainly not the other way around. Leo, is this a new suit? Funny. Get off it, Leo. I'm cooking one of my signature dishes. I'll cook it myself, then. Leo, you're not good enough for your head. You think cooking a single head chef's dish is enough to become a head chef? I can cook any of your dishes with my eyes closed, even way better than you. With your eyes closed? Even better than me? I accept the challenge. Cook him blindfolded. If you cook the dish worse than I, you are going to stay here and work without pay for two weeks. Betting ten bucks on our head chef. That's it. Generally, she is okay. The swelling will subside in 40 minutes, so you can go right away. I won't. I'm ugly. Quit it. No, you'll break up with me when you see me like this. Don't talk nonsense. Let's go home. I have to go to work. Maybe go home for now? No, not yet. You wanted to tell me something? Nope. I'll tell you later. So, any progress? I have found out that I am not interested in women past their 40s, but they are surprisingly interested in me. I knew you'd be little to no help. Anyway, it's all right. I've talked to my mother. She's going to bring her unmarried friend to our place. So hurry and tidy up the apartment for her. Same goes for Mr. Timothy. Soon, we'll all be together. Mm hmm Chef, I've put a bunch of small holes in the cloth for you. Why? I bet ten bucks, just protecting my investment. Are you brainless or what, you freak? I'll win anyway. So shall we start the duel, or maybe our b b b brilliant chef is about to wuss out? Arthur. Yes? Command us. Got it. Gentlemen, before you finally cross the line of culinary hatred, I have to ask you for the last time, would you like to be reconciled? No! No! Okay, fine then. One, two... Well? God damn it, start! Give it to me. Mine! I beg your pardon, really, but they taste the same. Excuse me, chef, but uh, they're precisely alike. It's a draw, crap. <laughs> so, you may prepare the letter yourself.
Chef, I honestly respect you, but you were cheating. And Leo wasn't. That's why Leo won. Are you insane? I saw Arthur putting holes in the blindfold. I didn't see anything. I don't need this at all. It's always annoying when your apprentice is a better janitor than you. So anyway, I couldn't. Maybe you didn't want to. You too haven't told Ronald anything. I was just about to, but then your girlfriend started yelling. Help me, I'm turning into Alistair Mad-Eye. <sighs> okay, I'll go and tell him everything right now. Ronald! I've been looking for you. Yeah. Lana, we actually need to have a talk. Let's talk later. Dennis, this is my mother and father. And this is my Dennis. Good day. <laughs> Dad? It's me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Son, why did you come back home so early? Uh, we're just... I'm just showing Angelica your jacuzzi. Good day. Good day. Son, close the door a little, will you? You know... Angelica's feeling awkward, because you're... You're working together and such. Here we are! Come in, come in! Good day. Good day to you, too. Uh... Where is your father? Uh... Dad... Decided to have a bit of hydrotherapy. I would like to introduce you to my friend, Jennifer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh. And this is my friend, Angelica. Oh. How about a cup of tea? I bought a pack of bagels. I... I think I'd better go. Jennifer, wait! Nancy! Jennifer, wait! Jennifer! Well, I think I'd better go too. I'll see her out. So you want him to date that barrel? Nancy, it's its own choice. Chill out. It's you who wanted him to find a woman, so he found one. Yes, but... I just like that woman. Nancy, why does everyone have to live only the way you like? Feeding the homeless? Protecting helpless animals? And now dating only those women you personally approve? Kids, don't quarrel. It's all my fault. Dad, it's not your fault. You know what? Don't stick your tiny nose into other people's business ever again! Why do you call my nose tiny? I mean, I'm not sticking anything anywhere. And you won't. So much for bathing, holy moly. How about ordering champagne, hmm? <sighs> no thanks. I had enough this morning. <laughs> Excuse me, what is a molecular cuisine dish that is cooked in front of you? Well, it is a dish that is made in front of you by our cook, Catherine. Don't order this, it takes a while. Dennis, why don't my parents try it? Meanwhile, we'll tell them about our plans. Yes, but... I'll sit. We're going with the molecular cuisine. Great choice. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Miss, maybe you happen to offer a set of gas masks as well? No, really. The bubbling is captivating. <sighs> Fine, young ones. I wish you bubbling like this your whole life. We are bubbling already. <laughs> right, my dear? Glad to hear that. It might sound trivial. Uh, you just have to find your love, a lifelong one. Something like mine and Gabby's. Do you agree, Dennis? I do. I think I've found the love you're talking about. I mean a lifelong one. Sorry, Lana, but it isn't you. Goodbye.
Uh, here we are. Let me introduce you to my... girlfriend, Gulnara. Good day. Let me make an introduction, too. This is my... or rather, yours now. Or to be even more exact, your sous chef, Maya. Nice to meet you. I invited you here to arrange, let's say, an informal meeting before your upcoming collaboration. Sorry for disturbing you. Have you come to reclaim your sous chef? No. I wanted to apologize for that phone call and tell you how incredibly lucky you are. Leo is absolutely the best cook I've ever worked with in my career. Leo has always been the brilliant sous chef, and I'm sure he will be a brilliant head chef. Take care of him, please. Leo, I'm sorry. I really should have respected your wish to leave our team. Best wishes to you. I didn't even want to leave your team until you started insulting me. Why did you have to do this? I was thrown into a panic. You could have actually just told me, Leo, don't leave us. Really? Imagine if you had to risk losing your very best sous chef, the closest of your friends. I'd like to see how you'd react in this case. I'm sorry for interrupting your fiery melodrama. Leo, are you going to work for me? Here's the contract. I don't think so. Gulnara, what, what do you think? Is it okay if I remain a sous chef for a little longer? Leo, I will support any decision you are going to make. Fine, let's go then. You're late for work. Leo? Uh-huh. I'm sorry for the trouble, children. Holy moly, such an awkward story. It's okay, never mind. I hope you and Angelica will get along well. Mr. Timothy! It is a sign of rude manners to keep a lady waiting. Flying, my birdie? Well, thanks for caring about me. But I still have a couple of aces up my sleeve. <laughs> Flying! I know it feels like <laughs> every eye is watching. Chef Victor, mm -hmm. I, uh, I have to apologize to you. For what, Leo? When we were cooking with our eyes closed, I, I saw a little bit. The blindfold was transparent. I feel very guilty for deceiving you. It's all right, Leo. Head chef signature. Take it, Leo. I'm so glad we don't have to lie anymore. How did Ronald react to the news? Well, actually, Ronald doesn't know anything yet. went on a business trip for several days. Why didn't you give him a call? I thought it would be wrong to discuss it by phone. <laughs> 